Hello, my name is Matthew Tucker. I'm a freshman here at Clemson and a part of the uh, CU 1000 crew. We all had to do our new student dialogues and attend a, a dialogue and um, make a video about it, a vlog, a video blog. And this is what this is for me. My new student dialogue topic was higher education, right or privilege. And for the first hour, of the new student dialogue. I think everyone's is pretty much the same. Um, regardless of what your topic is, you pretty much in the first hour do the same thing. Like you make a little wheel and in your wheel you write about like the things that are important to you, the things just general things about you, like uh, how old you are, where you come from, um, your religion, stuff like that, like ethnicity, race, all sorts of good stuff. And then you get in small groups. We got in small groups and we um, talked about just how we compare to people, our, our most important three things on that wheel, how they compare to other people's three most important things. Like, for example, like uh, my religion was one of the most three important things that, like, defines me, really. And a couple of people in my group didn't have religion, or some did, and some we, a lot of us had some of the same stuff, and some of us didn't at all. And um, basically, it's just a way to get people talking, kind of get people's feet wet a little bit. Uh, break the ice because you put a bunch of kids in a room that have just arrived on campus, a bunch of random people they don't know, they're probably not going to be too open and willing to talk a lot. So that was one way to do it and I thought it was a pretty good idea. Um, but that's one of those deals where each student is only going to get out of what they put into it. So uh, in somebody's case, if they don't, they're just trying to get through the two hours, they're really not going to not going to get a lot of out of it versus somebody who like is going in there and excited about it and wants to really hear other people's opinions about the topic. <clears throat> so after that, we kind of dove in a little bit more to our topic, which was higher education right or privilege. And we watched a video, and the video is about uh, video is about this school in like the low country of South Carolina, and this school is in real bad shape. Like it didn't have a lot of good stuff. Um, the teachers were in huge disadvantage on what, the, like the, the tools and equipment, technology that they were given to teach with. And I mean that's really tough. I can understand that definitely, but in my particular case, I really didn't see how that applied to the topic. Um, what I personally thought the topic was going to be about was whether going to college would be a right or privilege when um, I hear higher education I think of college not necessarily high school because here in the state of South Carolina high school is something everyone has to attend that's that's not a right that's not a privilege that's what you're doing you have to so um, it is a privilege at the same time high school is because it's an opportunity for an education but um, you have to attend that and I didn't really think high school was necessarily um, considered higher education, um, but that's kind of beside the point. This school is really bad shape, and um, I definitely feel for those students who have to go through that versus um, my particular case. I went to a good school um, that was fairly new. I think it was like built like three or four years before I got there as a freshman, and I was very fortunate and very blessed to be able to attend a school with good technology. Um, those students, on the other hand, don't, and that's really a state issue. The state of South Carolina has, has to deal with that. They're the ones who divide up the property lines and do property taxes to get schools money. So that's not really um, anything that we can necessarily do about it. Uh, you can sit here and write petitions and do all you want, but it's not going to do much. Um, main thing, what we did was... Uh, talked about achieving dialogue versus a discussion or a debate or an argument. Dialogue, you're free to talk when you want, stuff like that. Um, you're not, you don't want to, you don't want to just blurt out and be, uh, necessarily go against what somebody says and kind of step on people's feet and rub people the wrong way. But at the same time, you do want to express your opinion. So I do think we achieved dialogue for a little bit. Sometimes we didn't and we didn't talk at all. And it was kind of awkward because we just sat there waiting for somebody to talk and no one really stepped up. Uh, my particular role I played was I really enjoyed listening to what other people had to say. Most people 
had seemed to agree, I seem to agree with most people in the fact that higher education is not a right, it is a privilege and it's something that we are given and something that we that we are blessed and fortunate to have and in this particular case with the video it was very unfortunate that those students had and those teachers had to teach and learn in the conditions that they had to but fundamentally it's a state of South Carolina issue not the students or the teachers and it's not a privilege to go there it's not a right to go there it's something that they have to do and it's unfortunate for them that they have to go there but um, personally, I thought the whole new student dialogue thing is a great idea and intention, but um, really it's, it's, it doesn't really serve the purpose because when you put, like I said, when you put a bunch of students in there, very few of them are going to say what they really mean or what they really want to, and just because they don't know each other well enough. Um, I would never really agree with forcing fellowship among people. Um, that's something that should not be forced. It should just happen on its own. And um, I don't I mean, I, I just, I, I, in my personal case, I don't think forcing people to get to know each other and putting them in the same room and getting to know other people's opinions around you, it's a great idea and intentions. And I believe every person should be respectful of everyone's ideas and opinions, but at the same time, forcing people to get together and share their opinions, I don't think is ever going to work or ever be a good idea. That, that, I believe that's something that's got to happen on its own. But um, like I said, I'm Matt Tucker. It's a great CU 1000 course. Got to know the library, other stuff like that. But uh, that's it, I guess. Thank you so much.